Uh, Marlon, just talk about your preseason, man, and just what you're looking for in the next couple of days and uh, making the squad <laughs> and making impressions on the coaches. Next couple of days, man, I'm just going to relax, kick back, and let the chips fall as they may. Uh, you know, just if I get a phone call, I get a phone call. And if I don't, coming back to work on Sunday and I have to go 10 times harder because it's uh, – it's for the money now, so it's for the, it's for the ship. Let's get it. It seems like you've made the most of your opportunities when you've gotten in there. Yeah, of course. Uh, I tried to make the most of every ball that was thrown my way. So I had one you know, mishap, but it's out of sight, out of mind now. And even on special teams, whenever I was able to get in there, I tried to make the most of it. So, you know, just just out there to play football and, and hopefully impress the coaches and see what happens. Marlon, do you feel like even if, if it didn't work out here because of the numbers that you proved at least that you are an NFL wide receiver. You will play in this league. Yeah, I, I do believe I, I did that, and uh, it's not trying to sound cocky or anything like that. It's just the body of work that I put together, uh, with working with the guys that I had a chance to work with, getting coached, you know, with the coaches that coached me. And it's just they helped me out tremendously this pre, I mean, this preseason. Cause I feel like I've grown, I've grown as a football player and as a man on the field, you know, able to handle certain things that come your way. Cause not every play is going to be perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Cool. No problem.